Jermaine Johnson terrorised the Denver tackles all day long on Sunday, but it was how he did so which impressed me the most. Let's take a look at the All-22 and talk about the evolution of JJ. Let's go. What's going on everybody, it's Luke here from Play Like a Jet and we are back in the film room with another All-22 breakdown and today we're looking at Jermaine Johnson, the pass rusher, and how he disrupted and dominated the game against the Denver Broncos. But it was how he did so. He's all about nuance, the cross chop, Euro step footwork. You can see this play on the screen now. That is who Jermaine Johnson has been as a player. But he wowed me with his bull rush ability. He had six pressures against the Broncos, and those plays ended up in a total of negative two yards for Denver. We're going to start with the sack he had here in the third quarter. Jermaine Johnson unusually rushing from the left defensive end spot. Have a look at this at full speed. JJ, speed to power, get off me, and then ends up in Russell Wilson's lap for the sack. As always, I talk about it all the time. At the line of scrimmage, low man wins, tight man wins. If you control the chest, you control the rep, and that's what Jermaine Johnson does well. He gets tight on the tackle, parachutes his hands outside, and then look at him convert that speed to power and finish the play for a loss of 11 yards. Jermaine Johnson has evolved. He is evolving. It's not just finesse anymore. He is blowing up tackles straight through their chest, and that is going to make him so hard to stop. Here's another great example of JJ winning on a bull rush, but this time it also highlights the pursuit and how he plays with his hair on fire. Coming from the left-hand side of your screen, the right defensive end position, look how Jermaine Johnson hesitates, goes straight through the chest, but then on the back end of this play, gets to Russell Wilson, gets that ball out. This is actually scored incorrectly. This should have been a fumble and a sack because Russell Wilson was taken down and lost the football a yard and a half behind the line of scrimmage. They gave him a two-yard gain. But Jermaine Johnson, you see patience here. Look how the tackle tries to shoot his right arm and open up his hips. Jermaine Johnson waits, he waits, and then bang, speed to power through the chest. And look how he disengages by going through the outside shoulder, takes advantage of the leverage he has, and as I said, this man's motor just never stops. This should have been a two-sack game for Jermaine Johnson, and everything he did, his game was predicated around speed to power and around bullying offensive linemen through their chest. This was an awesome rep from JJ in a huge moment in the fourth quarter. He helped seal the victory for the New York Jets. If you haven't noticed already, there's a very obvious theme to this video. I talked about the evolution of Jermaine Johnson, and that's him winning with bull rush and speed to power consistently. Here's another great example of it. From the left-hand side of your screen, off the snap, watch how JJ uses his length, extension, power, and Russell Wilson is just flushed in two seconds. He's got a bail, he throws it away, and it's another example, and I talk about this with Quinn and Williams, of JJ just effing up the play. Denver has no chance to execute their offense because of number 11. Look at the heavy hands, how again he gets tight to the chest and the left tackle's head, bang, just snaps up. JJ goes straight through his chest, is able to disengage with those long, long arms, and Russell Wilson's got nowhere to go. Once again, Jermaine Johnson's going to finish that play because that's what he does, but this is just what we saw all game long. Denver trying to execute, and they couldn't do so because Jermaine Johnson was just a dominant force from the Jets' right defensive end position. This was spectacular. But as the game went on, the Denver Broncos were so concerned about Jermaine Johnson that they started sliding protections towards him. Here's an example of that. Left-hand side of your screen, Jermaine Johnson looks like he's got a one-on-one -on -one with the tackle, but you're going to see that right guard. He comes in, and the only reason that JJ doesn't get a sack is because he gets pushed in the back and Russell Wilson ends up escaping and scrambling. But... This is a great example and really highlights just how disruptive he was, that Denver started tailoring their pass pros towards his side of the line, no matter where he was. He was physical, he utilized that length, and once again, the extension here and ability to get the tackle off him, just to bench press him with strength and speed to power was fantastic. It was consistent, and then you start mixing in those Euros and the cross chop, and you've got one hell of a football player. But I'm going to finish with two more examples. Look, they may not be the best technique from JJ. On this one, he kind of ducks his head. You can see head down straight through the chest. But once again, 
I talked about it earlier, displacement, guys. This is all about getting Russell Wilson off his spot. For the Jets, it isn't necessarily about containing him. You want to flush him out, make him uncomfortable, and cause him to do things like this, nearly throw an interception on the boundary to Bryce Hall. But Jermaine Johnson is the reason the Jets get penetration. It's a three-man rush, go get him, JJ, low man wins, and he just burrows through. He puts the left tackle in the lap of Russell Wilson, and this was just a consistent theme throughout the game. Another great example of JJ winning on the bull rush. But I wanted to finish by talking about how sometimes these plays look like brute strength, but there's always a technical element about the way Jermaine Johnson plays football. This time you can see him on the left hand side of your screen, and I want you to watch as the left tackle goes into his pass set, how he tries to punch you with the right hand. Jermaine Johnson does a fantastic job defeating that and getting the pressure. Look, again, this is a completion. It's a one yard gain. It's really easy to think this is a nothing play from JJ, but the reason that Russell Wilson feels like he has to get to his check down and get the ball to the flat is because of number 11. He was just electric all game long, and I mentioned it. Right arm stab from the tackle, Jermaine Johnson says no. Look at the result. You see, number 72's right hand gets flung backwards. He has lost the battle at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and Jermaine Johnson once again marches him, I don't know, six, seven yards right into the spot where the quarterback is standing. This was the best game of Jermaine Johnson's young NFL career. I'm going to repeat this stat once again. He had six pressures, right? Six pressures on passing downs. The Jets ended up keeping Denver to minus two total yards on those plays. Jermaine Johnson was spectacular. Guys, that's why I'm raving about Jermaine Johnson's performance against the Broncos. I know to some people this might have felt like a repetitive video, but it's for a reason. I'm going to come back to what I said at the start. It's the evolution of Jermaine Johnson. This is no longer just a finesse player who tries to beat you with Eurostep footwork around the edge. He can straight up take over a game with his bull rush alone.